Hey guys, and welcome to this video on big O. So here we want to show that two times n plus two belongs to big O of n. And in the green rectangle, I have the definition of what it means for a function to belong to big O of a, another function. And it states that f of n belongs to, and this here, that's the symbol for belong to. Let me just kind of underline it. There we go. That's the symbol for belongs to big O of g of n if f of n is less than or equal to m, so we have some constant value called m, times a function g of n for all values of n greater than or equal to some constant that we call k. And again, this is where m and k are both positive constants. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing I'm going to do is identify our function f of n. So here I'm going to write f of n is equal to 2 times n plus 2. Now where did I get that from? I got that from right here. Right, because we want to prove that 2n plus 2 belongs to big O of n. Alright, so what is g of n? So the g of n function is just n. Now where did I get this from? Well, I got that from right here. Okay? All right. So now if we rewrite our definition of what we want to prove, um, then we can try to prove that 2 times n plus 2 belongs to big O of n. All right. So I'm going to rewrite the function. So we get f of n. I mean, rewrite the equation. So we get f of n is less than or equal to m times g of n for all values of n greater than or equal to k. All right, so now let's plug in our f of n and our g of n values into the equation. So now our equation will look like this. 2 times n plus 2 is less than or equal to m times n for all values of n greater than or equal to k. All right. So what this means is all we have to do is find a value m in k that makes this equation true. And we have proven that our function 2n plus 2 belongs to big O of n. All right. So there's a few ways we could do this. We can guess values for m and k. Or we can guess a value for k and derive a value for m. All right, so I think I will go with um, guessing a value for k and deriving a value for m. So here I'm going to guess that k is equal to 1. All right. And so now if we rewrite our equation, we get 2 times n plus 2 is less than or equal to m times n for all values of n greater than or equal to 1. Okay? So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my like terms to one side. So I'm going to get that variable n to one side and to do that I'm going to subtract 2n on both sides so if we rewrite our equation we get 2 is less than or equal to m times n minus 2 times n for all values of n greater than or equal to 1 Okay. All right. So now I'm going to factor out that value in or that variable in. So we get two is less than or equal to m minus two. All of that times in for all values of n greater than or equal to one. And then I'm going to divide both sides by m minus two. Uh, okay, yes. 
So if we rewrite our equation, we get 2 divided by m minus 2 is less than or equal to n for all values of n greater than or equal to 1. And actually, now that I think about it, what I really want to do is I want to get that, that value m by itself. Right? Well, maybe. So we can think of this a couple of ways. The maximum value that n can equal is 1. I'm sorry, the, the minimum value that n can be is 1. Right? It will be no lower than 1. n is going to be a value greater than or equal to 1. So what this means... This means that we can now rewrite the equation like this. 2 is 2 divided by uh, m minus 2 is less than or equal to 1, right? Because all values of n are going to be greater than or equal to 1. So then they're never going to be any lower than 1, the, the value of n. And now we can really solve for our value m. So I'm just going to continue here and rewrite the equation. So now we get 2 is less than or equal to m minus 2. And then we add 2 to both sides. We get 4 is less than or equal to m. All right. So this tells us that we should choose for our value m to be uh, greater than or equal to 4. All right, so I'm going to erase everything that we've done here. And now let's plug in all the values that we have. We're going to plug in k. We're going to plug in m. We're going to plug in uh, f of n and g of n all into that equation. And hopefully the equation is true. So now, Let's rewrite that original equation from here. All right. But this time we're going to write it with uh, the substitutions that I just mentioned. So we get 2 times n plus 2 is less than or equal to, well, we chose m to be greater than or equal to 4. So let's choose 4 for m times n for all values of n greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so now is this always true? Well, I can't really tell just by looking at the equation right now. So let's simplify it a little bit more. So let's subtract 2n on both sides. So we get 2 is less than or equal to 4 times n minus 2n for all values of n greater than or equal to 1. And it still may not be so obvious, so let's rewrite the equation again. And we get 2 is less than or equal to um, 2n for all values of n greater than or equal to 1. And then if we divide both sides by 2, we get 1 is less than or equal to n for all values of n greater than or equal to 1. So that's true. So we can see that right away that this statement here is always true. Okay. All right. So what this means is, this means that we have just proven that f of n belongs to big O of G of N. And so what I do is I use these three dots, which mean therefore in mathematics. So therefore, F of N belongs to, and again, that's the symbol for belongs to, big O of G of N. And this implies, and I wanna use that arrow for imply, so this implies that 2 times n plus 2 belongs to big O of 
in. And that is our answer. All right. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave any questions you have in the comment section. I also have videos on uh, algorithm analysis and recurrence relation that you can uh, get and see online. It's a tutorial on uh, Udemy. So if you guys want to take that course, you can. Uh, again, I put a link in the description below. I also have many other videos on algorithm analysis on YouTube here that you guys can check out for free. And uh, please hit that, that like button, that subscribe button. Again, thank you guys for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. And I'll see you all in the next video.